Erica Turner and I'm a resident in marriage and family therapy with Group Therapy Associates. I'm here today for our Ask a Couple Therapist series and today we have a special guest, Erica Etten. Erica is the owner of um, A Little Nudge, an online dating consulting service. And Erica, if you could just tell us a little bit more about what you do, we'd love to hear it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So my name is Erica Etten, and I own a business called A Little Nudge, where I help people with all aspects of online dating. So the way I see it, there are two major obstacles to online dating. One, writing about yourself is really hard. And two, yeah. online dating is time consuming. And I don't want either of those obstacles to stop anyone from doing online dating successfully. So the services I offer all help people through those obstacles to make sure they can use online dating to their to its full advantage. Gotcha. Um, well, as couple therapists, we get a lot of questions from folks who are wanting committed relationships mm -hmm. about online dating, which really is not our forte. So <laughs> we brought you in to bring in some of your best tips um, for online dating to share with our viewers. Absolutely. So I could be here all day if we talked about all the tips. So we're going to keep it simple today. We're going to talk about the five rules of thumb for, uh, for your online dating profile pictures. So the first one, okay. very important, less is more. Okay. So, um, do you have any guesses as to how many pictures Match.com allows? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe like five? That's maybe nice. like 26. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I don't even know where they came up with that number. But the point is, that's too many pictures. Because we all have a tendency to look through somebody's pictures and uh, dismiss them because of one we don't like. So it's mm. like, very good looking, very good looking almost as good what is this selfie oh uh, webcam oh forget it and I don't want anyone to do that to themselves right so the point is less is more when I say that I mean three to five pictures we'll talk about what should be in each of those but uh, make sure to put your best foot forward because people will um, dismiss you if they find one they don't like yeah um, the second one is to have the second rule of thumb is to have a nice clear shot of your face as the first picture so on, on most of the online dating sites, including the apps, you come up as a little thumbnail right. to start. And if somebody can't see your face, if it's blurry, or if you're standing too far back, they may not even get as far as clicking on your profile because they can't see what you look like. So it's just really important for that first picture to make sure it's a nice, clear shot of your face that someone can really see you. Otherwise, you risk sort of being weeded out before, before they you... even look at your profile, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Gotcha. So, um, in terms of the other pictures, uh, one should be a full body, okay. um, or at least a three-quarter body, because people do assume things if you don't show information. Mm -hmm. So, you and I are both fairly petite, yet if we only posted uh, headshots of ourselves, people would assume the worst for what's beneath our neck. Mm -hmm. So, it's just really important to show that. Uh, so, okay. the next rule of thumb is to be by yourself in the shot. Hmm. So, why might you want to be by yourself in the picture? Um... I guess because, well, then, you know, people won't know who's who. Yeah, whose profile is this, right? Yeah. Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? Or what if your friends are also really good looking? Yeah. You know, you're already being compared to other people on the online dating site. And then you're being compared to your friends. Exactly. Do you really want to be compared to your friends? I don't think so. No. Now, what if I'm searching online for a gentleman and he has a picture of someone with the opposite sex? Mm -hmm. Then it's like, who is this person? I might assume it's his ex mm -hmm. or somebody else, and, and I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> now, what if he has a picture with a lot of attractive females? Oh, so then I might be thinking he's a playboy. Yeah, or... or he doesn't have time for someone else. He's already got all of these friends. Or am I attractive enough for him because yeah. I'm looking at all these attractive women? So it's just really important to be in a picture by yourself. You don't want to be compared to your friends. You don't want to, you, you already have a whole online dating site of people. So really make yourself stand out. That's very important. Mm. I do have two caveats. If you have children, it's completely up to you as to whether you want to show one picture with your children or not. Or not. I would probably ask their permission. Uh, I would also put a caption just saying that it's your family. Also, as a dog lover, I, I have a dog. Uh, one picture with your dog is a-okay. I actually, I used to have a picture of me FaceTiming with my dog that got a lot of comments. We we don't need to discuss who set up his oh, FaceTime. Yeah, I have questions about that, Erica. He does not have his cell phone, I promise. You have the most advanced dog in the world, I uh, guess. He does have a nicer bed than I do, but he doesn't have his own phone. Anyway, um, so the next 
pointer, the, the fourth, I think we're on four, the fourth rule of thumb, is to have an interesting picture of yourself. Mm -hmm. So I call this email bait. Let's say somebody uh, looks at your profile, wants to email you, but doesn't know what to say. Mm -hmm. If you provide him or her with this interesting picture, it generates questions. So for example, uh, we were talking earlier, I sing on the side. If I had a picture of myself with a microphone, it would generate the questions, where do you sing? Are you singing in that picture? Are you speaking? Do you sing professionally? So that way it's an in for people. If they don't know what else to say, they can comment on that. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was giving this advice once recently at a seminar and asked for examples. And this, this, this man in his 60s says, I am the perfect example. And I'm like, okay, great, what is it? And he goes, I have a picture of myself in plaid pants. Doesn't seem that unusual. Okay. But he put the caption, these are my once a year pants. And ah. that's what made it interesting because he got a lot of women emailing him asking, well, what day of the year do you wear these pants? Why are they only your once yeah. a year pants? What's special about exactly. these pants? So everybody should brainstorm on what that interesting picture might mean to them. So it's basically sort of a peek into your life. It gives somebody a little sort of foothold to kind of grasp onto to start asking questions about you exactly. and trying to get to know you better. Exactly. Because as I tell my clients, the point of the online dating profile is not to share your life story. I mean, I hope most people can't fit their life story into a little box, right? Right. It's to just give people a glimpse enough to want to email you, text you, or go out with you. Gotcha. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, the last rule of thumb, so number five, is to be accurate. I'm sure we've all had situations, whether dating or not, where we walk into a room and we can't find the person who we're supposed to meet. It's not because the person's not there. Oh. It's because the person hasn't accurately represented him or herself. Mm -hmm. So use a current picture. What's current? A year or two. Unless you've changed something major about yourself, you know, cut your hair, dyed it, gained or lost a lot of weight, then it should be more recent. If you've grown facial hair or something, you should put that as a picture, not just as a caption. I have, I have a beard now because... I can't picture what you look like with yeah. a beard. So it's just really important that that first picture looks like the you who's going to walk into a date. Yeah. If nothing else, so that they can find you. Well, it's, <laughs> exactly. Because because if you fool somebody like that, a lot of people will think, well, I'll just get my date in a room and then and then I'll win them over. With no, that's, that's not how it works because the person is already thinking, um, I've been deceived. And that's right. not the way to start a relationship. So with that, we had our five rules of thumb for your profile pictures. Great. Thanks so much, Erica, for your advice um, for, for folks who are looking to improve their online dating profiles. Um, and you also have a book. Could you talk a little bit about I your do. book? I do. Yeah. It's called uh, Love at First Sight, S-I-T-E, Tips and Tales for Online Dating Success from a Modern Day Matchmaker. And it essentially takes you through uh, from your first click on an online dating site all the way through to your first date and then the follow-up after that. It's a very quick read and it, it really um, gives a lot of information concisely. Great. All right. Thanks so much for being a guest here today. Thank you. Um, you can find more information. We'll link to Erica's book on our website, grouptherapyassociates.com uh, backslash conversations. Um, also, you can meet Erica in person at our event on June 7th, our Dating Dilemmas event. Um, for singles who are looking to improve their de dating lives, who are looking for a healthy, committed relationship. We can and, drink wine at this event, right? Yes, we're drinking wine. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting to the wine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm explaining, but I'm getting there. No, um, you know, for singles who are looking for a healthy, committed relationship, um, we will be having the event at Lagrange Winery in Haymarket. It is beautiful. Um, and you can meet Erica in person and also me, Erica, in person. Um, and we'll have some other, uh, um, a matchmaker also um, and other couple therapists as well. So we encourage you to join us there um, on, again, June 7th, Dating Dilemmas. You can find more information at our website, um, grouptherapyassociates.com backslash conversations. Thanks so much for joining us today and we hope to see you. Yay.